नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट्स इन योर क्लास यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट्स टुडे वी विल बी हैविंग अ फ्रूटफुल डिस्कशन ऑन हाउ वी राइट अ पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट व्हेन वन मेंबर इज गिवन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द exploration so here the question is let me write down that so the question is write the pythagorean triplet whose uh, smallest member is 8 so i'm writing the question write the pythagorean triplet whose smallest member is 8 so here is this question so you know that uh, we can get a pythagorean triplet by using general form and you have studied about that general form in your class and that general form is that uh, we have to consider the triplet in the form 2m m square minus 1 m square plus 1 i'm repeating what is this m we are taking m as a natural number which is greater than 1 so i'm writing this if m is a natural number if m is a natural number greater than 1 you can note down in your notebook greater than 1 then we have Two m m square minus one and m square plus one as a Pythagorean triplet. Just read this statement again and try to understand this. if m is a natural number greater than 1 then we have 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 as a pythagorean triplet do you know why this statement is true because if we try to see a relationship between these 2m m square 1 minus 1 and m square plus 1 we find that 2m whole square we find that i'm writing this 2m whole square plus m square minus 1 whole square equal to m square plus 1 whole square because this relationship is true so 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 will give us a pythagorean triplet right so we will be using this uh, in finding the pythagorean triplet when one member is given right so here it is given that one member that is either it can be 2m 
or it can be m square minus 1 or it can be m square plus 1. So, one member is given to be 8. So, we have to find now the Pythagorean triplet. And it is given that 8 is the smallest member. Right. So, let us begin this. So, I am considering that m square minus 1 equal to 8. So, what are the three members of the triplet? They are 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So, these are the three members of the triplet. So, here I am assuming that let m square minus 1 be equal to 8. So, what happens? Let us solve this. So, when we solve this, what do we get? When we solve this, we get m square equals 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9 and we have assumed that m is a natural number. So, when m square is equal to 9, so m will be equal to plus minus square root of 9 which is plus minus 3 but m is a natural number. Because m is a natural number, so m will be equal to 3. We will not take minus 3 here. Right. So, let us proceed further and see when m is 3, what happens? When m is 3, then what will happen? Okay. So, now m is 3. So, let us uh, write down the other members of this triplet. So, the other members of the triplet will be 2m is equal to 2 into 3 which is 6 and m square plus 1 is the third member will be equal to 3 square plus 1 that is 9 plus 1 which is equal to 10. So tell me what is the triplet then? Triplet will be 6, 8 and 10. Do you think this is the right answer? Because here 8 is not the smallest triplet member. So 8 is not the smallest member. So that means we started with, I am just uh, taking you to the place from where we started. We started with assuming that m square minus 1 equals 8. Just focus here. We started with this. Okay, m square minus 1 equals 8. When we started with this, we get m is equal to 6 and by doing so, we get a triplet having value 6, 8 and 10 and this is not the right answer because here 8 is not the smallest member. So, we will continue further and we will now consider... 2m is equal to 8. That means we can we will take another member to be 8. So let us uh, proceed further. So what we will do? Let 2m is equal to 8. So when 2m is equal to 8, so what will be m? 8 by 2 that is 4. So, when m is 4, can you tell me what will be m square minus 1? 
which is one member of the triplet m square minus 1 will be 16 minus 1 which is equal to 15 and m square plus 1 will be equal to 16 plus 1 that is 17. So can you tell me the triplet over here? So triplet is 8, 15 and 17. This is how we write a triplet. 8, 15 and 17. And here you see that 8 is the smallest member. I hope you have understood the process. So let us take another example. And now the question is, let me write down the question first. The question is, find a Pythagorean triplet in which one member is 12. Find a Pythagorean triplet in which one member is 12. Earlier it was smallest member is 8. But here it is given one member is 12. So here let us try to do this. So, we will be doing this question by first considering the Pythagorean triplet. And you know that uh, in general, how we take a Pythagorean triplet. So, general form of the Pythagorean triplet is 2m, m square minus 1 m square plus 1 where m is a natural number and m is greater than 1. So this is how we take a general Pythagorean triplet. Right. So using this we are going to now solve this uh, particular question. So here it is given that one member is 12. So let us solve this. So we will assume that uh, let m square minus 1 is 12. So write it. Let m square minus 1 is equal to 12. Now you see here interestingly when m square minus 1 is 12 this implies m square will be equal to 13. 12 plus 1 is 13. But here you will see that you will not get m as an integer. So m square is 13 means m is plus minus square root of 13. So here we are not getting an integer. So, we will try with another member. We will not consider this m square minus 1 is equal to 12. So, then what we will do? We will try with m square plus 1 is equal to 12. And here you can write down the reason that... Uh, here we are not getting m as any integer, positive integer. So let m square plus 1 is equal to 12. Then here what happens when m square plus 1 is equal to 12? This implies m square is equal to 12 minus 1. Again we are getting the same situation. Write it here that uh, here we are not getting a positive integer value for m. So we will not consider this. So what we will be doing is we will be taking let 2m is equal to 12. I hope you have understood this. 
when 2m is equal to 12 here you are seeing that m will be 12 upon 2 which is 6 so you have got here m is equal to 6 so when m is equal to 6 therefore you can write the other two members of the pythagorean triplet by substituting the value of m in m square plus 1 so m square plus 1 is 36 minus 1 which is 35 and m square plus 1 will be equal to 36 plus 1 that is 37 so here you have got a pythagorean triplet first member is 12 second number is 35 and third number is 37 so answer is 12 35 and 37 is it not interesting so you can see that by using the general pythagorean triplet i'm repeating consider m as a natural number which is greater than 1 and 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 will give you a pythagorean triplet i hope uh, this uh, discussion will help you in uh, understanding the process of finding pythagorean triplet using the general form have a nice day